Captain, the pilot disembarked and pilot boat clear, sir. Roger, thanks. The pilot turned over nothing before disembarking. Two vessels are coming across in the westbound lane. What's the captain's intention? There are two vessels in the westbound lane. I may go through between them. It's better to turn to the port early. Port 10. Port 10. What? I must immediately check the port quarter situation. Captain, Bunker Barge is getting closer on the port side. What? Report to me sooner. Midship. Midship. He should have told his intention sooner. Then I could have checked it out earlier. Midship, sir. Bunker Barge has stopped. Port quarter clear, sir. Roger, thanks. Well, Port 10. Port 10. Vessels on the eastbound lane? It looks like there's no problem so far. Second officer should have checked the situation, I believe. Port 10, sir. Good. We can manage to pass them safely on our side. There are towing vessels over there. Ah, two vessels each. Odd. The position might be wrong. Why? I hesitate to report it to Captain. Second officer looks busy for lookout. Damn it. He's going back and forth. Is he okay? Captain, two towing vessels are on port side. Bearing is changing to the port slowly. Thanks. Dead slow ahead. Dead slow ahead. Dead slow ahead, sir. Oops. I didn't yet check the aft situation. The clearance is getting narrow little by little, but I hope I can clear them out. What is third officer doing? Second officer, please check on him. Yes, sir. What's wrong, third officer? Gee, I can't fix the position. We can see these remarkable points. Yes, I bore it with those bearings. So these are the points. What? Those towing vessels turn to starboard suddenly. Can't enter the westbound lane. No choice but to turn to the starboard right now. How about starboard? It was clear. Hard as starboard. Hard as starboard. Hard as starboard, sir. <gasps> Oh, no. Your simulation session came to a bad end. However, if you had understood BRM well, you might have avoided the collision. Consecutive errors lead to the accident, including ambiguity, distraction, inadequacy and confusion, communication breakdown, improper con or lookout, non-compliance with plan, procedural violation. Reflecting on your session training, you may have several reasons for the collision. The aim of the BRM is to maintain safe voyage. To do so, all members should have the mutual understanding about situation around and maneuvering intentions to make a good teamwork. By the 2010 Manila Amendment to the STCW 1978, these five items on BRM were newly adopted, namely allocation, assignment, and prioritization of resources. Effective communication on board and ashore. Decisions reflect consideration of team experiences. Assertiveness and leadership, including motivation. Obtaining and maintaining situation awareness. During this training session, you should learn about these requirements and knowledge requirements.
Briefing is important for team members to grasp the situations and maneuvering intentions to each other. Let's go for it. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Shall we start a briefing for entering port now? Regarding the schedule, the pilot will be on board at 0600 tomorrow morning. We are slightly ahead of ETA. And also, we may catch the following current. I'd intend to adjust ETA around here. I put call captain point here. And if we reach there early, I will check it out again after that. Yes, sir. Third officer, did you check the daylight time and current and steam? Yes, sir. Sunrise time is 0510 and sunset time is 1813. We have 0 0.8 knot south current around the port entrance. This course line was changed from the previous voyage because we had many fishing boats and nets there, right? Yes. New course line is deviated from one mile easterly. Second officer, any other topics? Dredging operation is going on this area, and there are warning points. Anything else? How about the additional lookout? 30 minutes before the pilot boarding time. Roger, sir. Third officer, I'll take over the con. Roger, sir. The engine is ready for standby. The vessel is on port side of the course line and course to the next waypoint is 015. No leeway, sir. It's important to eliminate ambiguity to avoid the error chain. I should clearly set my command to all. Course 015. Thanks. I take over the con now. Third officer, keep lookout, please. Standby engine. Standby engine. Visibility is getting poor. Load on the bridge team will be higher. I'll take measures early to maintain good bridge teamwork. Visibility is getting poor. How many miles now? I could see the head-on vessel at three miles, and this buoy is about two miles out. Yes, it seems like that. According to the navigational warning, the visibility may become poor. Call up second officer earlier. Call him. Roger, sir. I shall detail assignments after calling up an additional officer. I will ask second officer to monitor the radar and you should fix the ship's position every five minutes, please. Roger, sir. It's time to change watch now, but traffic is still congested and it's a narrow area. The best assignment under this situation is until the vessel clears the situation, I'll ask Chief Officer to continue his duty for a while. I must give him clear orders. Chief Officer. Yes, sir. We are in a congested area so far. Please remain on your duty for a while till the vessel clears the situation. Afterwards, change your duty with Third Officer. Roger, sir. Captain, no vessels are out from the anchorage, sir. Well done. You made good judgment and can report now. Thank you, sir. I hope he will improve at this pace. Please continue to monitor the vessels from the anchorage. Yes, sir. Captain, Outbound vessel is coming out from the anchorage. Starboard four point. Distance three miles, sir. Thanks, I see. Ah, that one. A black hull tanker, isn't it? Yes, sir. During the briefing, Captain advised us to pay attention to any crossing vessels coming from behind the island.
No vessels in my sight. Two vessels are detected on the radar. Captain, I caught two echoes of vessels behind the island on the radar. But we can't see them in our sight so far. He remembered well what I said in the briefing. Very good, thanks. Captain, I caught a fishing boat starboard side two point four miles, sir. The fishing boat seems to be moving slowly to the port, but bearing is unchanged. No fishing net, sir. Is that it? Yes. No fishing net seem to be used. Captain, CPA is almost zero, sir. Okay, it's better to alter course to starboard. All clear on the starboard quarter, sir. We have enough depth. Thanks. Third officer, please check the position. Roger, sir. Hello, bridge. Five cables port side from the course line. Three miles away to the no-go area, sir. Thanks. Ben. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. The pilot is also a bridge team member. I will clearly confirm his approaching plan and maneuvering intentions. Check carefully and tell it to the other bridge members. At the entrance of the fairway, reduce speed and then set the engine at standby full. We will use two tugs today. Please take them at around this breakwater. Roger. Full ahead speed is 14 knots. Also, dead slow ahead is about 7 knots. Shall we take the tug on the port bow and the port quarter? Yes. Please take tug on the port bow and the port quarter. Roger, sir. Although everybody is tired, I want to enhance the team performance. I should hold a debriefing. Let's do it. All right. Let's have the debriefing meeting now. I think your reporting frequency has improved. Please, keep up the good work. I was able to make good reports about the expected situation as I got information regarding vessels from Anchorage and outgoing vessels in the briefing. However, while the pilot was on board, I hesitated to report because I thought the pilot had noticed the situation already. While the pilot is on board, we may rely on him too much, but you are requested to report to me as usual. Yes, sir. When approaching to the pilot boarding point, we pass the vessel starboard to starboard. I guess the captain would pass it port to port. Ah, uh, about that. You may have been confused as I didn't tell my intentions to the bridge member at the time. Second and third officer, if you have some doubts on my intentions, please feel free to ask me on the spot. I could correspond smoothly since the captain had told us of your plans for the additional lookout members and timing of standby. Captain, I spot a fishing boat starboard side two points, four miles, sir. Yeah. Afterwards, I do need check by radar. Otherwise, Captain tells me off. That fishing boat is moving to port slightly, but bearing is unchanged. No fishing net is used. We can avoid it by turning to starboard. Ah, that one. No fishing nets seem to be used. 
Captain, CPA is almost zero, sir. In this situation, I can pass your port side. How deep is it here? I think it is okay for us. No vessels on the starboard side, and we have safe depth. We can turn to starboard. Third officer, please check position and depth. I'll check them now, sir. What would the captain do? Oh my god, I must check the position right now. I wish second officer would do it instead. Hello, bridge. No report from second officer. He advises me if we have any problem. So, I can turn to starboard. I will alter the course slightly to starboard, right? Yes, sir. Oh, they didn't check aft. Second officer should do it. Ah, captain's doing it himself. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. He's not doing well. I can't stand it. Third officer, I will take over the con, right? Quartermaster, starboard 10. Starboard 10. Starboard 10, sir. Midships. Midships. Midships, sir. Steady. Steady. Steady, sir. Course 227. Course 227. Course 227, sir. For the time being, the traffic situation will not get worse. Okay, I'll go down to check emails in my cabin. It's all cleared now. What? He's not taking over the con anymore? His instructions are getting more and more vague, I think. I spot a crossing vessel starboard side 2.4 miles, sir. Ah, oh, that one. Still far away. That crossing vessel is coming closer. Starboard two point. Distance one mile. Bearing is unchanged, sir. Yes. <gasps> that vessel? Second officer didn't write wheel over points and parallel indexes on the charts. I surely ordered him to do so on the last voyage and he didn't. He didn't put remarks into the bridge notebook. Well, damn it, I'll do it myself. I'll also write those into the bridge notebook. His work details have been getting inconsistent as he's staying on board for a long period. Good morning, sir. Morning. Should I tell him off at once? Not necessary. He'll notice it by himself soon. It looks like they're engrossed in the handover. Are they keeping a lookout now? Is that fast vessel approaching from starboard side? It's ferry, sir. She'd be passing ahead. 
they're still continuing the handover, aren't they? Do they know the current situation? That vessel seems to be coming closer too. Did you check the name of the starboard same way vessel? Which one, sir? That one. That. Soon, we'll be coming close to the crossing area in the traffic lane. On the previous voyage, Captain repeatedly advised us to pay attention to the crossing vessels. During the previous briefing, Captain said nothing, and he never advised us of it. He won't listen to my report seriously. Would third officer report to me on the present situation properly? Sometimes he reported correctly on the previous voyage, but now he's submitting erroneous reports. Can I rely on him? I don't know. Oh no, one vessel is coming out from the anchorage. Should I report it now? Yes, I'll do it after checking my radar. Hmm, a vessel is coming out. Oh no, he noticed the vessel. If I report it now, he will tell me off. Uh, third officer, can you see that vessel coming out? Yes, sir. Captain, here is today's voyage plan here. Thank you, sir. Meanwhile, how's your business, sir? Thank you. I'm very busy now. Ah, oh, that's so good to hear. Captain, was... there's a fishing boy on starboard side 1.1 mile, sir. Uh, thanks. So, anyways... Yes, thank you. Roger, I checked it. You see, it's really difficult to maintain a certain level of concentration when you're getting... Okay, shall we start debriefing now? Chief Officer, uh, he is busy now. Let's have a meeting with these members. They look very tired. I want to say something, but I should finish quickly. I'm so exhausted. I want the debriefing to end quickly so I can take a break. This time, I couldn't do my best on reporting. Captain tells me off on so many things. This time we had no risky conditions. I have nothing to say. Do you have anything to say? Nothing? Okay. We should call it a day. Let's finish up. Lucky me. Oh, has the captain not come up yet? He should be on the bridge. I'll call him. Captain, second mate speaking, sir. From 1300, it's time for the BRM briefing. Yes. Yes, please. He'll come up right now, sir. Sorry to have kept you waiting, because I was checking emails. Okay, let's start now. Mm, we've experienced navigating in these areas, so you know, well, right? I'll write down my instructions on the chart later and um, please check them. Any questions? Okay, let's have a safe voyage. Thank you for your participation. He's half-hearted now. I'm afraid his motivation is going down. On the previous vessel, he was fully motivated for the BRM briefing. Second officer, please be careful. Our conversations are recorded on the VDR, you know. Don't worry. Nothing will happen because we are familiar with these areas. Men, be serious. We should brace ourselves for safety. It 
It's almost noon, isn't it? Visibility is still poor. Any outgoing vessels? I'll check it right now, sir. I can't see anything in this poor visibility. And several small ports are around here. No moving vessels by AIS. Captain! No outgoing vessels so far, sir. Roger. Thanks. It's dense fog now. Hard to see the bow. Second officer will come up soon, so no need to call him up right now. Captain! Three cables to the next waypoint, and one cable starboard from the course line, sir. Can you see the next boy? Next boy. I think that... that is the one. I can't spot it yet, sir. After passing the next waypoint, we go straight for a while. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. Starboard 10, sir. Oh! Look! Straight ahead! A fishing boy is there! Where, sir? Uh, yes, I found it. But no more boys around. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, second officer. Poor visibility, isn't it? Is Captain on the bridge? Captain's on the wing now, checking for a fishing buoy. Second officer, I think there is something wrong with total distance from last noon position. Really? I'll check it out now. Keep lookout, please. Yes. Still starboard 10, sir. What? Does he dare to keep a starboard helm to avoid the fishing buoy? Captain. Six cables to starboard from the course line. Still starboard 10, sir. Oops. Midships. Port 20. Port 20! Do you see the next boy? No, not yet, sir. Ship's position. Wait. I'll check it, sir. Two cables starboard outside of the lane, sir. I see the boy now. Port side. Something's going on. What's happening? Second officer has come. Oh, second officer, help us, please. Ocean Avenue, Ocean Avenue, this is VTIS. It could be alerting us on our deviation. One vessel is coming out from the anchorage on your starboard bow. What is your intention? Wait, an outbound vessel? One outbound vessel is coming out of starboard. Its distance is six cables. Crossing, sir. The CPA? Getting closer and closer. Heart of starboard. Heart of starboard. Shallow area is over there. Heart of port. Heart of port. Starboard bow. Crossing vessel. Two cables. She's heading for us. Our speed is 12 knots. Full astern. Knowledge and ability to apply effective resource management. Allocation, assignment, and prioritization of resources. Effective communication on board and ashore. Decisions reflect consideration of team experiences. Assertiveness and leadership, including motivation, obtaining and maintaining situation awareness. When will daddy come home? Has something similar to this happened around here? Don't you think you are so confident not to cause such incident? These cases at sea have actually happened. Improper BRM practices may not lead immediately to accidents. Therefore, you may get overconfident on your BRM. Think about the importance of BRM as well as whether your BRM is properly in place. <laughs> 